Hamas's government media office claimed at least 274 people were killed amid the operation, an unverified figure that also does not differentiate between combatants and civilians. The IDF acknowledged that it killed Palestinian civilians amid the fighting, but it placed the blame on Hamas for holding hostages and fighting in a dense civilian environment. We know about under 100 Palestinian casualties. I don't know how many of them are terrorists, IDF spokesman Daniel Hagari said last Saturday. Argamani has been one of the most recognizable faces of those abducted on October 7, following a widely circulated video of terrorists taking her from the Nova Music Festival on October 7 and separating her from her boyfriend, Avenaden Orr, who remains in captivity. Doctors who treated the rescued hostages said they were suffering from malnutrition, were beaten regularly and experienced great psychological distress during their captivity. It is believed that 116 hostages abducted by Hamas on October 7 remain in Gaza, not all of them alive, after 105 civilians were released from Hamas captivity during a week-long truce in late November, and four hostages were released prior to that. Seven hostages have been rescued by troops alive, and the bodies of 19 hostages have also been recovered, including three mistakenly killed by the military. The IDF has confirmed the deaths of 41 of those still held by Hamas, citing new intelligence and findings obtained by troops operating in Gaza. One more person is listed as missing since October 7, and their fate is still unknown. Hamas is also holding two Israeli civilians who entered the Strip in 2014 and 2015, as well as the bodies of two IDF soldiers who were killed in 2014.